I don't know about y'all, but I ain't never liked a filibuster. Even in like junior high, when I first heard the word, I was like, filibuster, what's that? An old timey candy bar? Some sort of cowboy move? Hustling, rustling, and filibusting? What is it? A 19th century Earl with a really messed up circus? Come on down to Archibald Filibuster Sad Elephant Emporium. Now, what is it? And the world was like, no. No, it's none of those things. We can see why you might think a word like that would mean something silly as hell, but in fact, it's the opposite. It's when a bunch of crusty-ass white people with power talk the very concept of change to death. Yay! I mean, you can understand why politician types might like a filibuster, you know, I mean, talking shit to avoid doing shit. What's more up their alley than that? But it really sucks for the rest of us, especially in a time where the Democrats could change some shit if not for the filibuster, which they also could change if not for a couple of pylons in their own party. Talking, of course, about Joe Manchin and specifically today, Kirsten Cinema from Arizona, who put out an op-ed in the Post establishing her position on why she wants to keep the filibuster. Here's the thing. That dog don't hunt. It's a purse dog. She got a purse dog position on this shit. Here's the deal. Essentially, what she said was, listen, if we get rid of the filibuster now, then in the future, when they inevitably have power again, we won't have the filibuster. So they will just undo anything that we do right now. And how would you like that, huh? Okay, there's so many things I hate about this. Number one, only a damn moderate Democrat would already be planning on a future defeat. I mean, them and like Tennessee Vols fans, someone utterly defeated and dead inside is my point. Number two, this notion of like, oh, well, guys, we don't want to antagonize them. We don't want to piss them off. Have you met these people? They're pissed off at numbers. Pissed off is their default state. Worrying about pissing them off would be like me worrying about making my wife think I'm an idiot. Like, that train has sailed long ago. Wait. Number three, I feel like the underlying premise here is we can't do stuff now because somebody might do other stuff in the future. And so it's like, what do you think your job is? Like, you know, you're literally a lawmaker, right? You can't make laws because opposite laws might get made down the road. Then like, what do you do all day? You fucking window dressing? Number four, anything that we do, they'll just undo. Yeah, you, you're right. They'll try. For example, Obamacare, you know, the thing they've been trying and failing to undo for 10 goddamn years, despite having the bulk of the power for the majority of that time, like that. They're not very good at it. Make them try and figure it out. Trying to make them accomplish some shit like this would be like telling your toddler to get their own toy from behind the couch. Like, I, yeah, they really want it, but at the end of the day, all they're going to do is pitch a fit and knock some shit off the table or whatever. Number five, okay, they'll undo it. Make them fucking make them if we are not full of shit on the left and the policies we support work the way we say they would and help people then put them in place get to helping people and make those motherfuckers claw it all back in broad daylight make them be the face of undoing helpful legislation if they even have the capacity because otherwise what are we even doing here love y'all